Hey guys, this is One Shot Zero Kills or David, and this is my first video on a new series that I'm making, How to Make Your Own Minecraft Mod. Uh, this video will serve as an introduction to Java. I will show you where to download Java, uh, what programs you might want to use with it, and I will also show you how to make a program that prints out Hello World. Alright, so Google Java space SDK. I'll click on the first link, which is Java SE Downloads. Now you have to download the JDK and the JRE. You're going to click download for both of those. And then uh, just uh, whatever version you need to download for your operating system, you just click that. And let's execute that and it will download for you. Uh, but make sure you get both of them because you need both of them. Alright, then uh, this is optional but you can download Eclipse. I definitely recommend it. And I'll put all the links for the downloads in the description. So you guys won't have to do all this. You just click the links and it'll be good. So get started now. And then I download this one, Eclipse Classic 3.7. And you have to choose what operating system you have. So you just download that and then it'll put it in some directory. And whatever you choose. And then just go to the Eclipse and it should be in that directory. Or I made a shortcut, which you can do. This load Eclipse. It may take a while if it's your first time using it. Alright, go to File, New, Java Project. I'm going to type in Java Introduction. I'm going to click Finish. Right click, go to New, Class, Hello World. And I'll make it Hello. And click this uh, checkbox, Public Static Void Main, because you want that. And then uh, right after this to do auto generated method stub, you're going to write capital S and then system. So capital system with a capital S dot out dot print line parentheses uh, quotation will automatically generate that for you. Hello world. And then at the end of that, you put a semicolon. And then you press run. Click OK. And down here you'll see it printed that out. Alright, and we can do the same with Notepad, so you do not have to download Eclipse, but we need to do one thing first before we can do it with Notepad. That's going to make it a lot easier for us. We go to C, like whatever, and then go to Program Files. You look down for Java, JDK, go to Bin. Now we need to copy this directory because we need to use it for a path for Java. I'll explain this to you later. Right click on Computer, go to Properties. And advanced system settings, it should be the same for all versions of Windows or the most recent ones. Go to advanced environmental variables, then scroll in system variables and find path. If it's there, you click edit, and at the end of that, you put a semicolon and simply uh, paste the directory for the bin in Java, and click OK. Otherwise, if you do not have the path variable, you make a new one, call it path, and then just paste the variable value, which is directory. And click OK. Uh, now, I'm just going to copy this and put it into Notepad. So you have public class hello, same stuff. So you'll file, save as hello.java. It has to be the same as the class name, which is hello. And then make sure you save as type as all files. The good thing about Eclipse is it automatically generates all this stuff for you besides this. So otherwise, if you were Notepad, you actually have to type all that stuff out like that. So that's why I like Eclipse. Just go to File, Save, but you don't have to download that. Alright, uh, now that we've saved that in Notepad, we can run CMD. And then we need to navigate to where we saved that. I think I saved that in Documents. So I'm going to do CD Document, which means Change Directory. And then dir means see the directory. Now cd documents and directory to see what's there. Let's see what we have. Hello that Java. So now that we set the path, we can just do Java C hello dot Java. Otherwise, we would need to type out that whole directory.
All right, so it's done doing that. Uh, if we type in dir directory now to see it, we'll see that it has made a class file. And execute that, we just do Java hello. Or whatever like the class name was. Mine was hello, so look at that hello world. All right, and that's all of this tutorial. Uh, in the next video, I will be going over what you need to mod with Minecraft, uh, what programs you have to download, what you can download that is optional, and uh, see you guys.